This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's uh, let's talk about what we're coming off of. As a reminder, this is fresh on the heels of the Over the Limit pay per view, where John Cena retained in an I Quit match, which we've covered in the archives. But let's talk about some some company news as we head into the Fatal Four Way show. This is a big episode of Raw, June seventh. Uh, we see the invasion of NXT rookies on Raw. It starts off with a match between John Cena and CM Punk. They go about 10 minutes when the NXT guys hit the ring, consisting of Wade Barrett, Darren Young, Heath Slater, Justin Gabriel, Michael Tarver, Skip Sheffield, Dave Otunga, and Daniel Bryan. They attack everybody. Cena, Punk, Luke Gallows, Hall of Famer Jerry Lawler, Matt Stryker, who had joined Lawler and Cole on commentary, the ring announcer, Justin Roberts, and other WWE personnel around the ring. They're just destroying everything ringside, including the ring itself which forces the match obviously to end in a no contest. But during the attack, Daniel Bryan makes some headlines when he strangles Justin Roberts with his necktie. And as a sign of disrespect, he spits in John Cena's face. And eventually he gets released, uh, four days later. We'll talk about that, but the idea here becomes known as Nexus. Talk to us about the idea of there being an invasion, what you thought of the execution and just the concept of what they're trying to do here. Well, the idea was because these were kids from the school and at that, at that point in time, it was considered the school. It was not a strong brand with a television that was kicking ass every week. It was the school, but these guys were all young go-getters talented in their own way. And the idea was if they combine forces and you got Wade Barrett doing the talking, that's as formidable a force as you have in the entire company. And those kids were all very, very good. And this is one of those ideas that I, that I thought was excellent, but got cut off too short as usual, other than letting them go on a, just a, tirade for months and pile as much heat you will know when it's time to give something back to the good guys but pile as much heat as you can possibly pile on those guys because if you counted them how many of them were there eight eight yeah there's a bunch of folks here yeah you know and and some good good looking young studs they should have been able to slaughter anybody at any time. And you're talking about an invasion. That's enough guys to have an invasion. And I just think it, it got, and you know, when you immediately put them with Cena, you're going to have to give something back to Cena before too long. Cause right. that's the what the way of the world, right? Sure. Well, they might should have went somewhere besides Cena first. You know, this is all in the planning stages. When you see that you have something that's that, Hey, Damn, these guys look good together. Damn, they are good together. They're vicious. They're like a pack of wolves. Well, let's sit down and really look at what we have for these guys and and, and think our way through this, and let's just see how much mileage we can get out of these guys. Because if they would have got red hot, they could have been attacking heels and baby faces. You know, that's just a what if. And uh, I personally thought it was a great gimmick, and we it just got cut off too quickly. Yeah. I think a lot of people thought it was a great gimmick and, and that, it, that it ended too quickly, but I feel like you made a great point that maybe we fans don't think about or talk about. Maybe you don't start with Cena first, you know, on the one hand, I understand that everybody says, Oh, well, if you, if you have them attack Cena, well, they're definitely going to make an impression, but to your point, Cena's Superman at this point. So if you do something with Cena, he's got to come back on you and that could cut your knees up from under you. You start and you build to Cena. You make Cena sort of the big boss, if you will. And he goes last, not first. 100% correct. So let's keep it moving. Uh, it's a great idea. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.